Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm a Sibyl Elish and today we are going to explore the volcano up north. So our last episode we did record with a little flaw. We changed our monitor and we did it adjust to the new resolution so we didn't show everything on the screen. I tried to edit it so it wouldn't look so bad but it, it kind of did. The next episode would be with the same thing so instead of that I'm just going to make a quick montage of what happened there and we'll just keep trucking ahead going through the journey steps for the dungeon delving and this episode will be for the volcano and just a small snippet of what happened in the last one. Once loyal clients, the people of New Azagard betrayed Silas in his hour of need and now it is time for him to collect reparations. Of course, the northerners won't part with treasure and kin without a fight but Silas and his bodyguards have been hitching for a good brawl. Given its substantial size by the standards of the exiled lands, New Azagard typically harbors a significant amount of skilled workers, precisely the individuals Silas is now searching for. Undeterred, he methodically knocks on each hut's door, yet the skill hands he seeks elude him. Unwilling to settle for mere plunder, Silas extends his quest into nearby camps, determined to find thralls to serve his cause. There's some small camps here to be very lucky to find anything useful but that guy looks like a big boy. Stop! Surprisingly, it was in a small waterside camp that Silas found what he was searching for. A renowned carpenter called Gustav. Swiftly, he knocked him out and made sure no witnesses were left to attempt any future rescue missions. He rode all the way back to his base to start the training of this new valuable asset. Silas's focus then turned back to the Black Key, an ancient structure from which the legendary warrior Tyrus led a silent legion of slave troops. But he was half man, half giant, and his allegiance switched when he fell in love with the Lemurian princess. He is now known as the King's Scourge for killing his own father in battle near the Mount of the Dead. And devoid of both family and love, he still lingers inside the keep, cursed with eternal life. Silas braves the narrow corridors of the ancient structure, where the Silent Legion still serves its master, and finally faces off with the broken remnants of such a legendary figure. This guy is a fun fight. You can actually dodge this attack if you time it correctly. You take the wrong fight. You are getting hit, but let's let's bring something here. This is a scary dude in the um, speed run. There's a couple of attacks that can one-shot you if you have no armor on. Luckily, we do have armors on and our thralls also, so... And in the speedrun, if one of those joins in to the, to the fun, it can really screw up your run. This is one of the final bosses you do on it. Yeah, but like this, it is quite easy. With the King's Scourge defeated, Silas can explore the chamber for hidden secrets, magical weapons and timeless designs. There is a gloomy solace in leaving such a place, but Silas has to face the present and on the way back to his own fortress gather as much iron and wood as he can carry. Okay, so our bindings broke right here while we were waiting for our guys. So we're going to end on that note. Let's take all and show what we got from our adventures this day. Uh, 10, 15, 18,000 iron, 8,000 stone, 12,000 wood, 5,000 bark, 
2000 resin. That's a good one. We got two legendary weapons that we're not too happy about, but um, it is what it is. A bunch of stuff that we can dismantle in this, the dismantling bench. Some cool fish that can give you bonuses when once cooked. And the tier of the two races, which can be used to make a very good two-handed weapon. Actually, the heart of the King Scorch is what allows you to do that. And in that episode, we finished another journey. Right now, we're going to focus on the next step, which is the volcano. And with the magic of editing, we are here at the entrance of the volcano. We're going to go through this path so we can get all the obsidian and gold we can on the way there. We did bring some steel with us, which is what we need to smelt the composite obsidian. So up we go, these guys are passive, they are friendly, this guy is actually a merchant. I actually forgot to, to bring ice with us, hmm, not sure if we can survive the volcano without any ice, we'll have to check that out, just keep coming up here, I'll mine this obsidian as well, why not. So we have reached a place in the volcano. Oh, this has a lot of heat resist, right? Heat insulated. So this should allow us to go into the volcano without the need for ice. While climbing would still be a, an issue though. These guys up ahead are not friendly. These two might be, but those guys over there, I don't think they are. So far so good. Yeah, those guys aren't. I actually aggroes the rest of them. Okay, we have to be careful here because these guys do hurt. We also have a challenge to complete to defeat the followers of Skellos, so go there my friends all right so we have some gold coin we can buy some ice with gold coins i think serpent man statue is quite expensive to craft pure elo extract to replace what we had and small treasure that's fine by us Now, I'm not sure if these up here will actively attack us. Doesn't seem that way. Which is good, good news. Uh, not going to bother with that guy, he's a very fighter. We're not going to take any fighters, even though the fighters from the volcano are very, very good. We are. Ooh, Spinus the Marauder. Uh, I'm just saying that. I remember a playthrough I did I was looking for this guy for so long but we have so many good tier 4 thralls that I'm not even going to bother with taking it what are you doing is, is that it let's help them out here with spinus because he is a monster. Alright. What did we get from that? Reptilian things. Serpent Man War Spear. Okay. Uh, the potions are very welcome. Thank you very much. Now these guys shouldn't attack us. Zingaran Fighter.
If we find any tier 4 crafter, we probably will take him back. It's going to be a hell of a track back, but it is what it is. We need good crafter thralls. Armor 3 is a little bit tempting. This is going to be an archer. Okay, so this is the Shrine of the Oracle. Darfari, Sorcerer, Alchemist 3, Sorcerer 3, and Carpenter 3. Yeah, we're not going to go all the way back to base for anything less than a tier 4 guy. Zingaran Fighters. And a cook. Okay, so nothing too special there. We're going to pass by again on the way up. And since we are in single player, they will respawn as something else. So we don't have to go around and kill them. Let's just kill these two guys. Ouch. Uh, guys? Alright, all right, well, don't mind me. Just here, chilling. These guys actually tank a lot of damage. Keep him staggered, so he doesn't deal too much damage to our men. Die. Perfect. What is that language dictionary? We need that, so we can learn how to read the tablet at the end of the dungeon. That's not a thing, by the way. You can always read it. It's just... Makes more sense if you have the knowledge of the Serpent Man. Uh, there is a trader up here that will sell you ice. I'm not sure if he wants silver or gold, so I'm not going. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy it. No, he wants silver coins, which is kind of dumb. I would give him five gold coins for it, but he's really into silver. So what can we do? Okay, these are two archers. We need to tell my guys to attack that one. Ouch. What are you doing? Ouch. Kicking my butt, that's what you're doing. Not playing very well today. Not sure what's happening. Let's drink a potion here. At least the flesh eater, flesh terror. Yeah, this guy is also very good. I can't believe I'm actually killing these guys instead of taking them with me. But we cannot train all the thralls in the server, so. Can you go after that one? Yeah. These aren't the good ones, are they? No. statue and uh, down we go there's a chest in here some orbs and some ardent bricks uh, keep going down our main objective is to go into the well of Skelos and defeat the final boss it's not going to be too much of an issue. The The final boss is quite easy once you get some equipment. In the speedrun, he is one of the, the hardest ones because if you don't... If you don't have the right weapon to one-shot the adds, um, it can become a bit overwhelming and you don't have the armor to back you up. Uh, it is getting dark though. Oh, there's one of the rocks here. Not sure what my thralls are going to do. 
about going in here? Are you going to go just go inside the lab? That's that's what you're doing. This might be bad. Okay, go there. Go there. Did you Oh, you don't take any damage from the lava now. Okay. Now, I know that I probably should use a torch here, but I think it's going to be very, very hot. We didn't prepare very well for this one. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll have the chance to get the resources we need. Uh, we're going to respawn on our bed. This is bad. This is real bad. Some food for the cold, because we are going to get real cold. We are going to take some ice with us. Let's take 15. Should be enough. Take some armors. Let's take that venue set. Why not? Uh, what are we missing? The gloves. Yeah, I can beat that. Those gloves. Matters not. Uh, one weapon. Let's not take the the big one. Let's take that. Okay, I think we are all set to go. We could take a couple of potions. Well, I'll take one potion. And we should start heading towards the Well of Skellos once again. This time we're walking there. We were complaining about the fact that if we got a thrall, we had to come all the way back here to put him down. But now we just have to go all the way there because we were dumb and died. I wouldn't want to fight all these guys again. Because with the help from my thralls, with an encumbrance build, sure it's fine, but right now I would rather get hit by lava. Ah! Oh damn it, I aggroed them anyway. One of them is an archer, so it's going to piss me off. But we can go down this path. Yep, two more archers. Let's use the tree for line of sight. And we can come through this area here to avoid those guys over there. Okay, that was the necessary damage that we took. Let's see this box. Uh, some gold. Extremely hot. We have to eat some ice and keep going. We're almost at our body. Our body is there. Usually when I die, I'm very careful with my approach to the body because once you get far enough, the thralls stop dealing damage. So when you die and you respawn at your bed, your thralls aren't taking damage from the, the things around them. But once you get close, they will start fighting again. And that can be potentially very bad, but I do think our thralls are more than able to, to withstand the attacks from these guys. Our thralls are very strong thralls. So hopefully, you see, now they're starting to get attacked. I'm going to drink a potion here. And help out our thralls. Are they fighting back? Yes, they are. I'm just going to help this one. Interrupt by interrupting the attacks from this guy. And all right. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to tell you guys to follow me. Follow me and you too. Black Horse, the unnamed Black Horse that's been with us since the beginning. Uh, let's take that out and just take all. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Take that away. X of the line back on and the Mist Morn so we don't have to really pay attention to our temperature unless we are climbing and we don't have the shield with us okay the berserker was taking quite a beating but at the end of the day we didn't lose the thralls we just lost a bunch of time because it, uh, because i died i have to be careful with these guys i don't have the the right build to to be fighting them without a care in the world so we are going to be mindful of that we can still fight them 
but we have to be careful. They do drop some good potions. Mm. Up there you can get the recipes for the Serpent Man, but Salas already did that. Yeah, let's go into the Well of Skellis. We have a bunch of steel in Obsidian on us to start processing. Okay, let's bring that out. Okay, so there's a fast way and a slow way to do this. We're going to do it the slow way because we're not speedrunning this and it's a lot more fun. These guys are passive and you can find some really good soldiers there. But if you aggro one of them, you'll have to face all of them and they are quite tough. These serpent men are also quite tough. I don't remember them being this tough. Maybe it's because I'm usually rocking a strength build when when I come to face them, but it is what it is. We have to keep attacking them, keep defeating them. I am I am going to drink a potion. We have a lot of potions. It's not a big deal. We don't have any arrows, so we have to do this the old-fashioned way. Hopefully this goes well. Okay. We have a few of them after us. Which is actually good news. Kill this guy, keep an eye on the health of our man. Oh. Need to drink a potion here. Okay, the one on the horse has left. And yeah, our man just dealt with that perfectly. And I like to believe that we helped a little bit. Uh, what is that? Is it the yeah Serpent Man Dictionary? Some obsidian weapons. This guy dropped some composite obsidian and some soup. Um, okay, so for those of you who don't know, this is the place where you have to come to smelt some composite obsidian. You need the obsidian and the steel bars. I only brought a thousand, mostly because Oh, you need to know the recipe to be able to smelt it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Uh, I'm not going to leave this here because we are in single player. I'm not sure if it would despawn once we get far enough away. Uh, but all right, let's go. Let's go through the dungeon. Let's learn the composite stuff. And maybe we'll wait around for for it to smelt, but I'm not sure if we will. Yeah, we can go through the big compound. I haven't done that in a while and the loot has been revamped since, so. Let's go through here to some salamanders. Ooh la la, we just dodged that one, we sent our guys to attack the other one and we are taking care of this one all by our lone selves. He's also kind of stuck and Anja was doing something out back there. Were you attacking this guy? Oh, but that would have been smart. 
I would have forgiven you being late to the fight if you were handling another fight. That guy was still trying to get out. up. Yeah, these guys are very weak. They are being taught by the big guy, but we're going to kill everyone, even the younglings. Alright, some good food. There's a couple of chests here. Some good resources. A Grandmaster Repair Kit. It's not... Not too bad. Infectious Yellow Dye. We might try to figure out how that looks. Maybe we can use it in our troops somehow. Going for the archer here. Just trying to get out of the way from our thralls. They are our main DPS and our main tank, so just basically have to <laughs> stay out of the way. Go for it while I loot. This is my task here. You have to tank and DPS, I have to loot. It's hard work, by the way. Oh, there's a chest here, see? You have to be very inquisitive to be able to loot. Okay, now, we can go down this area here. What's up ahead? I think there's some of the big guys up ahead. The big reptile. Serpent man thingies. There's a snake as well. These guys will poison you, but they are very weak. Let's tell our man to go for the big one while we take care of the small ones. Ouch. Yeah, these guys are quite tough. There's another snake coming our way. Alright, uh, we should be skinning these guys. Alright, they already dealt with the big one while I'm still struggling with the small one. It is what it is. They are quite tough though. Not sure if these guys were buffed. Maybe it's just me not having the, the right build for it. There's some sounds of fighting going around in this area. Now that there's some snake eggs, I'm really surprised that they didn't put some snake eggs in here, in these nests. Seems like the perfect place to do it. Anyway, let's keep trekking ahead. Don't remember it being brimstone here, but that might have been the place. Okay, so I really was hearing fighting. Okay. Hey guys, you can go for that one. Oh, there's a bunch of these. 
Ooh, there's a bunch of these here. I didn't know this. These are the mini rock noses. Not the mini rock noses, the mini rock nose boss. Is there a big is there a big mama around? Hopefully not. Alright. And now, these guys, I think they're worth the hassle of farming their bodies. Yeah, some brimstone, some demon blood. Uh, how are we looking on water? Uh, not that great, but... Let's see. Here lies thick, the human warrior. But let's just... that's disrespectful. Let me read this. Here lies thick, the human man warrior. With axe and skillet, you welcome all to his symphony and feast. A steadfast father, a heartening force. He leapt chasms with a natural confidence, he fell with more. This is a very, very nice tribute to Thick44 from the Neebs Gaming. He passed away, unfortunately. So I didn't know they, they had put this here. It's, it's very nice of them. He was the man warrior. Okay. And I think he tried to leap this and failed, so... I'm not going to do the same. But... Yeah. I really like Nibs Gaming. I watch most of their videos. I think it's dearly missed by everyone. For sure. Let's keep going forward. Let's jump here. I think we are bypassing some of the content. Not sure. By coming this way. Ouch, don't you... Alright, I, I really should avoid dying in this area because it's going to be really, really tough to get back here without the proper gear. That's a big boy over there. Okay, that's a three skull? No, just a one skull, okay. Even so, we'll send our men, we'll send our thralls in there. Yeah, that's... Oh, these two were just younglings. And he is down. He has some feasts for us. We are going to explore not every nook and cranny of this place, but we do want to explore it kind of attentively because the, the revamp to the dungeons might bring us some cool new surprises. over here nothing hidden Take that. 
both of them will take care of that one and still come back in time to help me out here. They actually finished the job, we'll keep just going forward, looking for some boxes. Aha! We found boxes. Let's take all and take all. This was treasure. We like treasure. Silas is still addicted to gathering as much treasure as he possibly can. Our thirst will be an issue, but we do have a few feasts. Party feast, I'm not sure if it gives us any... Yeah, it gives us some water as well. Alright. Oh, that's a one skull small dude. Oof, that's... That's a rough one, dude. Hardened steel greatsword, some food. That's what I mean that when, when I say it, I don't really need a cook right now because we get so many cool food from these high level areas that it's really not that important. I mean, for PvP, sure, you need the specific types of food you want. Uh, usually it's just the salted pork and some potions, but right now, for us, we have our fridge full of good food. Actually, we don't have the, the armor one, but the Cimmerian Feast gives us 50 armor. We don't mind that at all. Okay, go, go for that one. I'm just going to look around, see if we're in danger of anything. Kind of stuck here, but it's one of those situations that is stuck in here with us and not us with him. Hearty feast, some food, some composite obsidian. Let's go for this side first. Let's, since these guys have a lot of HP, let's go all deal with the same guy at the same time. That way we can just speed things up a bit. I think it's the correct strategy here. Okay, we pulled a lot more. And we do... We are suffering from the low HP syndrome. Okay. Our guys should be able to deal with those two. Okay. This was... Wasn't too bad. They don't deal a ton of damage. Like, the, the Volteries, the followers of Volteries are the, the humans at the entrance of this place. They, they hit like trucks, so those are the ones you really need to be careful about. Oops. I'm sorry guys, that was my bad. I told you to retreat when I shouldn't have. All right, and now over here, there's one more dude. Where are the chests? No chests, all of this for not even one chest. Oh, you guys need some help here? Alright, should we go to the other side or just keep going forward? I 
that's where we want to go. So let's keep going forward. There's some snakes here. Yeah, we can kill that one. Hmm. Okay, so this isn't the path. I always get turned around here. Yeah, if we go down here, we will go towards the main area, the main boss area. Oh, okay, this is a small jump. We can make this easily. Then you have to face with the snake, the guardian of the chasm. And last time I did this boss, it was very easy. I'm not sure about now how it's going to be because dungeons have been a little bit tweaked, so I'm not sure. I'm confident, but I am cautious at the same time. It is a cool fight and I wish they would make it a little bit a little bit harder because it is a in-game dungeon. As you can see we can almost one-shot these guys. Yeah, so it doesn't seem that they have the difficulty here. So basically you just have to kill every wave of ghosts he sends our way, so... If you don't kill them, they will keep spawning and you can get uh, overwhelmed quickly. If you come here alone and undergeared, like imagine in a speedrun, uh, you really have to focus on killing these guys fast before the next wave spawns, otherwise you can get in some big big trouble. But with a couple of good walls, having your back and a legendary weapon in your hand, legendary axe for that matter, which is a very good one, uh, it's not a big problem. It's just a really pretty room with some cool looking ghosts and a boss that basically kills himself at the end. Oops, spoiler alert. He's not even there. The boss is not even there. Okay. Will he show up? Will... I mean... I don't think he drops... He drops the... Decaedrum... Tetraedrum thingy, but... Doesn't drop anything that is sort of any use. Okay, so the boss usually is sitting here, he gets up and he dies. And this time he wasn't even here, I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to complain too much about it. Uh, where do we learn obsidian shield, mice, tools? Yeah, obsidian tools is what we wanted. We can loot these boxes as well for sure. Crystalline garden arm. Oh, we don't have skeleton keys. We should have killed um, some world bosses on the way here. Uh, we'll take that as well. Another crystalline guardian arm. Not a bad place to come and farm for crystalline guardian parts. But that's it. That's it for the volcano boss and the volcano, the well of Skelos. So we should have the journey completed, right? Explore the Well of Skelos. We don't have this... Don't tell me we need to kill the guy. 
to complete that. And the guy didn't spawn. That's probably what happened. Oh, Conan, Conan. The game I love so much. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? I'm just going to... Just going to... Move away and then go back in. See if we can use affected ring single player to our advantage. You cannot mount you. Oh, he's there. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll have to fight the boss again. We'll just speed this one up. But this time he's there. So maybe that's what we need to complete the journey step. I'm really glad I checked before leaving this place. Because my distracted brain uh, usually doesn't double check things. At least you guys will be able to see the immensely difficult boss fight at the end. Uh, silver linings. We'll be able to see epic duel between the last surviving leader of the Serpent Man and Silas, the coin purse and warrior. He didn't die immediately and he got quite the buff in terms of health. That doesn't seem that way, but he was much weaker than this. Oh, and he dropped the skeleton key for us. The shining turpesehedrum. That's what I was trying to say back there. Oh, Volusian. We don't know how to speak Volusian. Uh, some steak and eggs. A man of culture right there. And now we do... Did, did these respawn? Because we couldn't... No. That, <laughs> that would be a bit buggy busy. So we have two chests. Right or left? Right or left? Well... Let's go for the... Uh, I'm feeling the left one. Ooh, the weird. Concussive. Does this deal concussive them? I'm not sure what's the point in having a concussive mice that deals also deals damage, but... Anyway, we completed the, the journey. I'm going to double check it. Next one will be the second city, which is uh, one that I actually like quite a lot. It's just so different from everything else. They bring us from fire into water, so... For this episode, we are still going to go through the volcano, see if we can find any good uh, craft of thrall. Uh, I also wanted some water. Since we're going to go back to base anyway, if we could take a tier 4 thrall with us would be awesome. Even a tier 3 alchemist or cook. Here we can jump down and we won't die. Our plan was to get some more obsidian, but we have so much of it back home. Let's just start cooking a little bit, just so we can show how that goes. Alright, this guy is dangerous, and I'm going to go for this one. Alright, we have two of them on us. Just trying to interrupt that one. Okay, guys. Um, all right. This is a scary fight, but when you have good followers on you, oh, ho, ho, ho. need to drink a potion here. All right, we managed to defeat the guardians of the forge and now we should be able to craft the composite obsidian so a thousand steel and a thousand obsidian should give me a thousand composite obsidian oh we needed a lot more obsidian that's fine that's fine we weren't going to wait around for a thousand obsidian anyway yeah this is going to take forever let's just pick up our things and leave we have a bunch of obsidian back at base the only thing we want to craft with the obsidian is some tools so i mean it's not a big deal it's not a big deal at all so what we're going to do is get back up there see if we can find any crafter thralls to take back home and make the journey back i just wanted to show you guys how to craft obsidian if you didn't know 
you could also just Google it, but still, if you're just watching for fun, you might learn a couple of things, hopefully. So these guys are all fighters. They're fighter threes. I'm not sure if you can get name thralls here, but these guys, the fighter three guys, are very good thralls overall, so... Yeah. So if you don't have any good, really good name thralls, that might not be a bad option for you. And now, we are here, and this place, we have to be careful with these guys. Because these are the guys that killed me earlier, and they deal a ton of damage. But well, cannot block that attack, so we have to get out of it. Alright. There is a couple of crafted thralls up here. I went through the, that many potions. Let's see what kind of craft of walls we can get. Carpenter one and blacksmith one. Now let's let's just run away. I don't want to be fighting all those. Ouch! Face <laughs> first. Against the rock. Silas is not happy about that. Oh, no, I'm kind of stuck here. Crush the venomous. Okay. We are really... Getting all the named thralls, aren't we? The named fighter thralls, because we want the crafter ones. If we wanted the fighter ones, we would get the crafter ones. It's just how it goes. Ooh, there's an event here. Let's do the event. I already have the... Obelisk. What do you want, dude? I don't think I ever did this event, so... That's something new. Uh, I'm going to take everything from these guys. Including stuff from their bodies. another one here I don't like the fact that I have feral flesh on my hotbar so at the very first chance we get we might just take that away let's put some food there Again. Get some sated bonus if we are in some trouble. Okay. So, is there more of these guys? Do we have to destroy these rocks? Not sure what to do here. We have to destroy the rocks. And now there's Balzamon. Does this hurt me? It, it sure does. But I have a secret weapon. I have thralls. And we completed the encounter. That was quite the easy one. Ah, uh, this, this armor expires. The Magi Skull. The Abyssal armor is very, very good. But it expires quite quickly and the item cannot be moved. Okay. If you keep killing stuff, it keeps resetting the timer, which is really cool. I like that mechanic. But we haven't increased our sorcery yet. So. 
that's the trader dancer sorcerer task master three sorcerer devotee nothing that we really want the devotee year the devotees are just fighters i think armor one carpenter one we luck has not been on our side when it comes to these guys taskmaster two smelter three we might take that smelter three Are you guys struggling with that guy what was happening there so I'm going to tell you guys to stop I'm going to hit this guy uh -huh. too fast for you boy now I'm going to tell you guys to attack that guy and that's it So, we can take out our bindings and we'll have a smelter 3. is not a bad, a bad thrall. If we find something bad on the way back, you know that we'll just replace it. Uh, okay, reset the brutal. That's something better. That's someone better. <laughs> calling things is not very good for my views on thrall taking. Just knocking everyone out because I don't want to kill Riza by mistake. Yeah, we should be able to just keep comboing here. Yeah, with the new stamina, knocking falls out is much much easier tell our guys to follow us okay we have arrived at our base and we are going to put reset and training so let's see what we got from this little dungeon run we got some blood sacks that gave us black blood and blood let's use all of them demon blood black blood Fine, fine. Not the most pleasant thing to do, to just shift around some blood sacks to see what you get from them. We got a good amount of raw ash that we need for our composting. Some gold. Some good bows that probably we won't use. A magi skull from that event. Uh, some composite of obsidian, some ardent steel. This armor we took, we have two crystalline arms for a potential golem in the future some treasures some unstable things it wasn't the most profitable run in terms of resources the resources we mined were was for the goldstone and obsidian the obsidian we didn't wait around long enough to get all that we could but we did get the recipes the recipes for the obsidian tools are very important we are going to craft those in between episodes because for now this is it for this one i really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for hanging out and i'll see you on the next one